So if you want to print in GIMP, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to. So let's jump right into this video. So you're just going to have to click on file and here you have the option to print. You can click on print now. And now it's going to open this window here. And now here we have printer. So print a file. You have the name. Save in folder, file system or desktop. Now we can select also here the format from PDF to Postscript to CVG. And what this means, especially Postscript and CVG, because I'm pretty sure you know what PDF is. Basically, CVG, uh, C -A, uh, CVG means more. CVG are designed for web graphics. So CVG, it's like more in the digital world. So there are some like printing limitations. So it's great for web graphics, but a CVG can be uh, problems for traditional printing. Printing, Some printer drivers and raster image processors used in printing may not interpret the CVG code. And uh, for post script is a page description language, especially designed for professional printing. And also if you just want PDF, just select that. Here you can also select change to page setup. Here you can change pretty much that. And then here where we might want to go here because we have an image here. We here we can select the width and the height in uh, inches or um, maybe points. But I'll go with usually width centimeters. And here I'll just enter the one that I use and then also ignore page margins. So it's not a good, uh, that's not a bad idea. And then all you have to do is just click on print. Make sure you connect your print to your computer. And that's what all you have to do. And uh, if you are using a Mac, what uh, I could help you with is to show you here on Mac. You can go to, you can find, so you connect your, usually it's down here, printers and scanners, and then you just need to click on here, add printer, scanners, or fax. And then you just, uh, you should be able to here to see your, your printer. So that's when you just select your printer from the list and then click on add. Right, but maybe if you have like a Wi-Fi uh, printer, then um, I think it's easier because Wi-Fi printers will support AirPrint, Apple's wireless printing protocol for Mac, and that's way it's gonna be easier. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.